Yo what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Sobrellis channel and this is my performance review of the Anta KT6. So this shoe is going for 125 bucks. Anta is giving you like basically their best technology, new cushioning setup and all that. And also Clay Thompson is pretty much their biggest athlete and it's only 125 bucks. So Anta is killing it as far as giving the consumer the best value for their money. And uh, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the traction. So for the traction, of course, I did play on an outdoor court. And this shoe was basically inspired by mountains and the flow of water, which I think is really cool. And of course, they incorporated that into the outsole design as well. So we got kind of like a wave bone traction pattern going throughout the entire outsole. And the traction performance on the outdoor court was good. It had a good solid bite, but like comparing it to like some of the shoes that I've been playing in, I would say it's a little bit more inconsistent. Like I would have good days where it was like, you know, it had a really good stop. But sometimes when I was doing a pretty hard movement, uh, it would slide out, right? Uh, nothing crazy and nothing dangerous, but it would slide out and I would definitely notice it. So the performance was, I would say, inconsistent. Uh, of course, like I said, I did have good days as well. And as for durability, so at first I thought it was going to be good. I mean, if you like feel the outsole, the rubber is fairly hard. The grooves are deep. I guess the, the, the grooves are pretty thin though, you know, but, like especially on my right pair where the ball of my foot is, which is a high wear area, that part is like ripping off and it's pretty much worn down all the way. But let's take a look at the left. The left is a little bit better. I guess I use my right foot a little bit more. I guess doing like crossovers and step backs and all that. But yeah, it's definitely not as good as I thought it would be. You know, uh, like of course, Anta, like in the KT5 and like all their shoes, they make very, very durable outsoles. So I thought that was going to be the case for the KT6, but uh, I guess not, right? The durability isn't horrible. Uh, you can definitely play with these outdoors if you want, but I just don't think it's the best option for durability. As far as the heel to toe transition goes, it's pretty smooth. You know, you have a nice curve shape here in the heel and a nice curve shape here in the forefoot. You do have a carbon fiber midfoot shank plate which is insane, right? So like here in the forefoot, you have a lot of flex, right? It's easy to flex, but if I let go, look, look at that rebound back. Like when you're running, you definitely feel that, right? And not only that, but here on top of the toe box area, you have this, like it, they, they call it like their 3D hug system. It's just like a softer type of plastic that pretty much cages the entire midsole and comes up here into the toe area, right? And that also makes the entire shoe more rigid. So when you're running down the court, it, it kind of feels like a spring. You know what I'm saying? So it, when you bend it, you have that nice rebound back and it kind of like propels you forward. And that feels nice. And I've never really felt anything like that before. Usually if it has a lot of flex here in the forefoot, it's just like soft. The rebound isn't as like fast, you know? So the heel to toe transition is overall smooth and you get that nice spring in your step when you're like jogging, you know? Mostly doing like heel dominant strides down the court. So I really like that. As far as the cushioning setup goes, they're using new technology. So they're using Alti Flash Cushion and it's basically full length. And then here in the heel, if you guys can see this green part through this translucent outsole, that they're calling that Smart Sam. So Smart Sam is more for like impact protection. It's a super soft cushion. And then Alti Flash is supposed to be more for like bounce. Apparently it's a high rebound cushion compound. Court feel I would say is okay. I would say it's similar to the PG4, so pretty good. And to be honest, like it's not my favorite. You know, I would say still the KT5 low is my favorite in, in, like, in like the entire KT line. And then of course the KT4. And then uh, the KT6, I feel like they kind of missed the mark. So if you want like pure responsiveness with really good impact protection, I feel like this is a good option, right? So you feel a little bit of bounce and I guess the cushion right underneath your foot is also like kind of soft, but it's pretty hard to feel because of all of this like cage, man. And they, they just cage it up way too much. So uh, I can feel the heel compression when I like really dig my heel in, right? So obviously you can see from the clip, even through this cage here in the heel, it does compress, right? But I just felt a little underwhelmed from the cushioning setup. So basically the gist is the impact protection is good, right? Uh, my feet didn't hurt at all. You know, like I was playing on outdoor court and you know, my feet were good. You know, my knees didn't hurt, my legs didn't hurt, my feet didn't hurt. So obviously impact protection is good but it's more just like a passive feel you know you don't really feel like a lot of bounce you don't feel a lot of compression 
it, I would say it's slightly soft underneath your foot. So like I said, if you want like a responsive cushion, you know, there's really not a lot of lag or anything. And with pretty good court feel and impact protection, then uh, this is a great cushion. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad or anything. I just expected a little bit more. You know, I thought it would feel kind of like the WoW 8. You know, the WoW 8, that boom cushion is super bouncy. It has a lot of compression. It's super comfortable. You can feel it right underneath your foot and all that. So uh, don't expect too much from the KT6 cushion. All right, moving on to the materials. Yeah, uh, the materials were my least favorite part about the shoes. So from the KT3 to the 5, they, they used a knit material, which was super nice. They kept the shoe fairly cheap and gave you a very, very good quality knit, which was very comfortable. It felt very cozy and all that, right? Especially in the KT5 low, which was like 110, 120 bucks, you know? But in the KT6, they're using super stiff synthetic materials. They fuse it up a lot. And like here in the toe box area, like you, like I mentioned, you got this 3D hug system, which is basically a, a, a plastic. And then you got this white ribbed fuse material in the toe box area. And then this black part, uh, I do like the design of it, you know? It, like kind of go with the flow and you got a lot of waves and stuff and it basically is like a knit or a textile or i guess like a mesh material but then you guys you can see all of that fuse you know so it makes the shoe super stiff and um yeah it feels very stiff i guess they did a good job of keeping it thin you know and i guess it conforms to your foot somewhat well but i definitely miss the knit material from the kt5 like the material is very supportive though but I feel like it sacrifices that comfort and I guess pliability of the material that you get from a knit. Of course, you have a midfoot strap, which kind of does something. I really like how the strap kind of like stays in place though. Like when you put the shoe on, you're tying the shoelaces, the strap doesn't get in the way. It kind of folds in the opposite direction and stays there, which I really like. And it improves the lockdown in the midfoot just a little bit. Uh, like I always say, I don't like straps that go just one way. I prefer it with like the pulley system, for example, in the Why Not 0.3. But you know, it's not bad here. And for the tongue, you got a little bit of padding, which feels pretty nice. And then in the ankle area, uh, there's not a lot of padding actually, but then you have a very, very nice Achilles pillow. I guess two Achilles pillows on the left and right side of the shoe. So that improves lockdown and feels great on the ankle bone. So the overall materials, uh, definitely not my favorite. I mean, you know, it gets a job done. For example, in the KD6 and I guess like older shoes like the KD5 as well. Yeah, I didn't really mind it all too much. You know, it's a super thin, very supportive synthetic material. And I feel like it's the same in the KT6, maybe a little bit thicker. I definitely do feel like this plastic piece in the toe box is very overkill. All right, moving on to the fit. I went shoe to size and it fits me like a glove. It's a super snug fit everywhere in this shoe right so here in the forefoot width wise it's pretty damn narrow especially at first on my left foot uh, the 3d hug system was it was kind of uncomfortable it didn't hurt or anything but it was pretty uncomfortable so i had to break that in a little bit uh and uh, you know I, I do prefer a snug fit so obviously watch out for that and also in the midfoot it's super narrow like i went from uh, wearing this and i guess going into the dame 7 and the dame 7 it's not like it's super wide or anything, but the KT6 is just that much narrower. So obviously if you have a wide foot or you prefer a roomier fit, I don't even think going up half a size or even a full size would help with that because it's just such a snug fit and the synthetic material will not stretch out uh, after breaking it and all that, uh, like a knit would, you know? So basically the fit that you get is the fit that you're gonna stay with. But for me personally, I really liked it because I do enjoy a very, very snug fit. All right, as far as the support and lockdown goes, uh, it's one of the best shoes for support, I would say. I mean, obviously lateral containment. You guys see that 3D hug system that I keep mentioning. You guys see all this fuse, it comes up, acts like a sidewall, uh, basically everywhere. Here in the heel, in the midfoot, and in the forefoot, uh, so your foot is not going anywhere. Ankle support is also really, really good. Uh, like I said in the first impressions, I do miss that cutout that the KT4 and also the KT3 had. So you have more movement, I guess, going this way. Obviously, for ankle support, you want it to be this way because you're gonna roll your ankle this way, not this way, right? So uh, having this kind of be stiff in the back of the heel, I feel like restricts the ankle movement in like a negative way. 
uh, but it wasn't terrible. It's just it's just something that I noticed. And obviously, if you want a lot of ankle support, this is a great shoe to get. Also, it was very laterally stable. You have an outrigger there, and I had no issues with lateral instability. All right, moving on to the weight. This is going to be heavy. You have 14.6 ounces. This is a heavy as shoe. And KTs are usually heavy. Like the highs are usually around 14, 15 ounces. So that's normal. And then in the lows, it gets super light, like 12, 11, 12 ounces. Like the KT5 was like 14.5 ounces. And then the KT5 low was like 11, 12 ounces, I believe. So I'm going to wait for the KT6. Uh, obviously, if you want a light and minimal shoe, stay away from the KT6. But the strong points of the shoe are definitely support and also the snug fit. Like your foot is just secure and locked down into the shoe. All right, moving on to the ventilation. Yeah, it's super hot. I was playing at night and it's it's been getting pretty cold at night lately. And of course, in California, cold for me is like 68 degrees which of course a lot of you guys are going to be like that's not even cold but anyways it's kind of it's cold for me and my feet were burning up in the kt6 there's absolutely no ventilation anywhere in this shoe i guess the only place is the tongue the mesh tongue but like that doesn't provide a lot of airflow either so yeah your foot's gonna be super hot in the shoe moving on to the aesthetics i love how this shoe looks it's my favorite in the entire kt line i guess besides the kt5 low i really like the kt5 low but i even feel like the kt6 looks better than that so uh, i absolutely love the design of this uh, tell us what you guys think of the design down in the comment section below so wrapping things up the kt6 uh, is kind of a disappointment to me as far as like what i was expecting you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was expecting a very, very nice cushioning setup, which was, which I thought was gonna be very bouncy with like a lot of compression and all that, but obviously that wasn't the case. Uh, it's a little too stiff. I don't like the material choice, and I also don't really like how heavy the shoe is. It's definitely not my type of shoe. I feel like, you know, if you're a bigger guy and you need a lot of support and you need impact protection and all that, and also ankle support, this is a great option, but if you're a guard and you obviously if you're looking for a lighter, minimal shoe, and I guess with materials that are like softer and something that'll conform to your foot a little bit better as, as opposed to something that's a little bit more stiff and rigid, then obviously stay away from the KT6. So anyways, that about concludes my review on the Anta KT6. Uh, again, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.